Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know. And guys, today I want to do my very first unboxing of the new Boxy Lux. So before we get into this video, I have to give out the biggest of disclaimers because I know forehand how hard it was to get this box um, or how like the stuff that happened. I don't want to like edit this disclaimer or anything like that. I I was there. Um, this was not by any means like sent to me or anything like that. I'm not affiliated with BoxyCharm. I was there on launch day at 8 o'clock my time because I'm in central time. So 8 o'clock my time I was there and it was such a struggle. So I know my dog is walking around. I'm sorry. But I, this, me filming this unboxing or anything is not me trying to brag or boast about getting the box in any capacity. So please do not think that. Please do not um, think that I'm trying to be rude to anybody that unfortunately was not able to get the box because I'm not, I'm, that's really not what I'm trying to do. I really do, for people that are excited for this, I do want to show the items that are inside and talk a little bit about them, but I know that this was a big struggle and I know that the uh, owner of BoxyCharm did come out and release a statement on Instagram saying that they had um, thought they had enough like you know, bandwidth or server strength to handle all the people, but unfortunately it was just not enough. Um, so that stuff does happen and I do know the people behind BoxyCharm are indeed that they are people and mistakes do happen. Um, they may have not have been aware that there was going to be, I think they knew there was going to be a lot of traffic because they had been hyping up the box for the past month or so before the release, but I don't think that they thought there was going to be that much traffic because there was a lot, um, to my knowledge in anything. So, um... So that stuff does happen. I know that there were a lot of people that were upset because I was too. I was uh, 100% I was not the only one and I know that you guys are not the only one. I was there right with you and I was like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. And I was really upset about it as well and um, I... Long story short, I did end up getting the box. Um, I actually got put on the wait list a bunch of times first and then I was just like, all right, fine. I'll wait until December. That's fine. And then I got an email saying that I got it. I don't know what happened because I was there like the second that it launched at 8 o'clock. So I don't know if they... I don't know what they did, to be totally honest. But I want to go ahead and unbox it. I want to open it for you. I want to show you what's all in here because... I, honestly, I, I know what's in here. Uh, it was impossible for me to stay out of spoilers for this. Um, so I know exactly what's in here. Um, make that very transparent. But I want to unbox it. Uh, I really hope that you want me to unbox it, that you want to see it. Uh, just please, please, please try. Uh, please don't think that I'm trying to say that I'm like better or anything because I'm not. I went through all of that with everybody else. So, um, but disclaimer aside, uh, I would like to open this. So if you would like to see me open the first uh, boxy Lux that has come out, then keep on watching. Now that that is said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this. I'm not gonna tilt it and show you guys what's in. Well, okay, I will. I'm just really scared because I have not. I've I've done the the seal. I have not opened it at all. What does it say? <laughs> oh, hello, charmer. Yeah, hello, charmer. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I don't want to tilt it because I don't. I, I know what's in here, but like I do not want to do anything to make it break. Okay, so we got a lot of coupons on this little guy right here, so that's amazing. And this shows everything that's inside. Okay, so, ooh, okay, so this is the first thing that they announced that was gonna be in here, and I'm so excited about this. I um, talked to my mom, actually. I was just like, Ma, can you believe we were at Sephora one day? And I was like, can you believe that this right here is gonna be in the box? And it's $45 by itself. And she was like, holy cow, that's amazing. So yeah, so the first thing that is in the box is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, and this is the chisel, uh, 
palette. Basically, it is a bronzing palette, I believe, a bronzing and contour palette. Here is what the packaging looks like up close. I love the packaging, and I think the actual um, inside packaging like this is beautiful. So here is what this looks like. There we go. Now it's focused. I had to zoom in the camera a little bit. But this is so pretty, and then once you open it, I can't, there we go. I was like, I can't open it. Hit the little slip out. And look at all of these shades. Like, these shades are really, really pretty. All in all, this is beautiful. And then we'll move on to the next stuff in here. I'm very excited. Oh, my God. Okay, so I see these are a three-pack of brushes. And I'm very excited. I love getting brushes. I don't know. I did see these as well, but I don't know who they're from. I forgot. Are these La Mer? What? Alamar. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so dumb. So I looked at these and I was like, La Mer? What? I didn't know they made brushes, but no, that's Alamar. Okay, great. So these are the brushes. They feel very soft. Um, these look like eye brushes. So I will 100% use these. I'm very, very excited about these. So here is what they look like. This one to the far right looks like a really big fluffy blending brush. The middle one looks like a packing brush of some kind. And then the uh, farthest to the left kind of looks like a brush that you could go underneath your lash line with. These feel very, very soft. I think they are really good quality in my opinion. Um, yeah, I like them. What I, um, I'm going to tell you what these retail for. Let me actually do that while I'm going along with this here. So the first thing we got was that Park Princess the chisel palette right here from Tarte and that is retail for $45 which is great. Uh, these brushes right here, these do retail for $18 so that's really good as well. Next thing that I see here and I actually saw this exact shade or maybe not the exact shade but I saw this in Ulta yesterday and I was so excited. I knew that I was getting this because I got the email uh, but this is the Laura Geller blush. It is a baked blush and it is in the shade Tropic Hues. This looks gorgeous and this looks like a shade that I would use in a heartbeat. Um, I do like um, peachy blushes and I also do like pink blushes as well. I like both. Um, the one that I currently use right now like all the time is the Too Faced blush. It's the um what? That sounded weird. It's the blush in the shade Something About Berry. It's like a sweetheart's blush and it's very pink. Um, so I use that. I do actually wear a lot of pink blush. So this looks beautiful. This next thing is a tote bag, I believe. And it... Yeah. So it's a little tote bag. How cute is this? And you can like put your stuff in it. It says totes a charmer like oh my god <laughs> but yeah this is really cute you can put your stuff in it if you're going somewhere yeah I think this is really cute that they put this in there and it's like their own little branding of stuff so yeah really cute on that does that have a retail price the Laura Geller blush retails for $28 so that's awesome and then okay so the tote bag is actually not listed as a product it's just like a little freebie in there so that's awesome so pretty pretty really good pretty good so far I'm actually really I'm really liking this and then next I'm just kind of going down the line here so the next thing I see here I actually did not know we were getting this this is actually a mystery to me uh, so this might have been like one of the variants or whatever um, but this is the I'm gonna say this name wrong it's R R plus R plus Co R plus, I hope that's right, but it's the Death Valley Dry Shampoo. This is really cool. Here is what it looks like, and here is the R plus. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm saying it wrong, please let me know because I do want to make sure that I am saying it correctly. This is the Dry Shampoo bottle. Now, I have not used Dry Shampoo in quite some time. I love the idea of Dry Shampoo. I think it, like, the stuff that it does is really good, but I just don't use it very often for some reason. I don't really have the need to. My hair does not get oily because my scalp and my skin are so dry. So it doesn't really get oily. But yeah, I'm really excited. I want to see... Okay, that's a very, very hard sprayer, which it should be. It's not like setting spray, but it is really cool. I'm excited to give this a shot. And if I personally don't use this, then my mom will. She does use a lot of dry shampoo. So that's awesome. That does retail for $17. So dope. And the next thing I see here, I, I saw this on 
the email like I saw what this I saw this but I don't particularly know what it is it looks like it's just like a little headband it's really cute it's really cute it is by the brand the vintage cosmetic company that's adorable and it's like this pink and white polka dotted headband but that's really cute and you got a little bow that's adorable that's really cute it's quite tight to wear as like a headband all the time but I think that's what it's for to like put like to use when you're putting your makeup on or taking your makeup off really adorable I like that and this does retail for five dollars so that is the cheapest thing so far but that is totally fine um the next thing I see here is this I honestly I saw this but I didn't realize it was gonna be this big so that's awesome um I personally I'm not gonna say this name because I know I will say it wrong and I don't want to offend anybody um I do speak a lot of Spanish actually but for some reason I I'm not very confident when it comes to like pronouncing words off of paper so I don't want to I don't want to say it incorrectly and then end up offending somebody I that's the last thing I want to do but I will show you here is the what it looks like and I believe this is like a self like a self tanner kind of situation I like this I think the packaging is really nice like here's the actual packaging it's really pretty and like the color inside of that or like if that's the color it's supposed to be that's beautiful translucent transfer resistant shimmer for body and face so that's really really cool and I'm liking that I like that a lot and this does retail for $35 so it's definitely not cheap so this is great to get in the box and I have one more thing over here that I'm gonna keep for close to last because I'm really excited about it and I'm so proud of it. Um, the next thing that I see here is a brush and I was really excited when I saw this. So this brand called Luxie has created, uh, I don't know if it's their first brush set, uh, shit? first brush set. I'm not very, I was not aware of their um, brand until I heard of BoxyCharm because I think that they have come out with like brushes and they've sent brushes in the past in past BoxyCharms. Um, but this one I have since recently followed Luxie brushes on Instagram and I saw they were releasing this and I was really impressed. This brush, it is the Luxie 732 foundation airbrush foundation brush and would you just look at this design this is the thing that caught my eye like just look at this this looks so cool and the rose gold kind of top here looks gorgeous this is one of the softest brushes that I have felt in a very long time even softer than these ones um it's a very high quality brush in my opinion and I usually don't apply foundation with a brush but I will 100% try this and see what I think normally when I think of foundation brushes I think of ones that are like flat top you know what I mean kind of like stippling brushes but I will 100% give this a shot because this this seems like luxe like really pretty I mean it's luxy brand so I'm very excited and then this brush retails for $38 so you got to know that this brush does its job I mean brushes in general are not cheap products but this this looks gorgeous and next what I see here is I was very excited when I saw that this was gonna be in the box or like one of two things this is from the company juice beauty and me and my mom love this brand here is what the box looks like and the item that I got it was between this and one other thing and to be honest I don't know what the one other thing was I forgot but the one that I got is the stem cellular anti-wrinkle moisturizer so this is awesome and I think my mom already uses this so I may actually give this to her I can't open it <laughs> there we go um, my mom already uses, yeah, she does. This is the same stuff. She already uses this, so I may actually give this to her, but this stuff is great. Juice Beauty is a wonderful brand. I do believe it is all organic, formulated with organic ingredients, so that is great. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a more natural, organic brand, I would highly recommend them. It's a beauty serum. It's like moisturizer, which is great, so you kind of like push down right here and it makes the product come up so yeah super excited about that my mom loves this stuff so it's gonna go to her and the next thing that i do see in this box and i 
I feel like I've said I'm so excited like so many times, but I knew that this was a possibility. I didn't know if it was 100%, but this or I believe the other option was like a Lorac lipstick. Oh, well, let me tell you, first of all, the price for the Juice Beauty number nine. That's $70. Wow. That is $70. I had no idea. I didn't know that. I thought it was, I honestly, I didn't know how much it was. I thought it was at least like 40, maybe 45, $70. Wow. That's dope to get in this box. That's really cool. And I'm guys, I'm not trying to like say this to like blow wind up a uh, box to charm skirt or anything like that. But like, I think the stuff they put in their boxes are dope. I really do. I think the stuff that they like, I think the collaborations that they've done, I think that the stuff they've done, I know this box was a, uh, a rough ride getting to people and everything, but all in all the stuff that's in it and the stuff that that's been in past regular boxy charms, I think are really worth it. But that's my personal and humble opinion. But the next thing I see in here I'm very excited about. This is by the company Hank and Henry. And I just recently heard about this company. I didn't even know they existed until I saw just like a sponsored post on Instagram. And it was showing their eyeshadows. Um, like the ones in the really big containers that have two on the top and you open the final bit and there's glitter at the bottom. Um, I saw those and I was super intrigued of the idea so I went on their website and I looked through a couple of their eyeshadows that they were really nice and then like two days after that I saw that they were partnering with BoxyCharm for this. Very excited and this is the Hank and Henry, I'm assuming it's a liquid lipstick, yeah matte liquid lipstick in the shade Petal Pusher and this looks beautiful. The packaging is really well made and then here is the actual color. Let me do like a quick swatch for you. And that, that's stunning. That's real, real pretty. I'm gonna, I will 100% use this. I'm so excited for this. And with it being in the fall season, this is perfect for fall. So guys, we are down to the last two items that I did say for last. The first one I wanna talk about here is I'm so, I'm so proud of this person. I can't, I'm so happy for her. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And this is in collaboration with Nicole Concilio, she is, I think that she's, I think that she is wonderful. I, um, I talked to her on Twitter not too long ago because I, we didn't have a full on conversation or anything, but like I knew that she was talking, I knew that she was watching the Harry Potter movies and that she had said she had got to Deathly Hollows part one. So a couple days after that, I tweeted at her and I was like, did you finally finish it? What'd you think? And she was like, oh my God. Snape's amazing, I cried and everything, and I was just like, I know, it's so good, but she seems like such a nice person. I do watch her channel a lot. I think that she's hilarious. I think that she's really good at makeup, um, but yes, this is, and when I saw that it was going to be in the box, when I got the email saying, spoilers, here's what's going to be in the box, I got so giddy. I was so excited and so proud for her, but this is in collaboration with, of course, Nicole Concilio on YouTube, and it is, if I can open it. <laughs> A primer water. Now, I will be 100% honest, I'm not sure if this goes on as like setting spray or like before, like primer primer. Primes to create a sheer canvas for makeup. Okay, so it goes on before. Mist on as a primer, it goes on before. I read the box, awesome, that is sick. So this is what it looks like in the bottle and the shade, uh, not shade. But the scent that I got was Serene Greens. I think there was multiple options that you could have got for this. I'm so excited to use this like before my makeup and I will 100% let you know what I think. So I'm so excited for that. And this does retail for $32. So that's awesome. Now one thing that I will point out, I don't know if BoxyCharm collaborated with Nicole to put this in the box. I know that Nicole collaborated with Smashbox to make this product, but I don't know if Nicole and BoxyCharm collaborated to get this put in the box. I don't know how that worked, so that I'm not sure of. And the last thing that is in September's Boxy Lux is uh, uh, awesome. I was so excited. This 
So this, this, and this thing I'm about to show you was the three things that I was most excited about and this brush, honestly, I was super hyped about this brush. But this next thing I'm about to show you, I was really, really, really hyped for because I've always wanted to try something from this brand. And this is the Nightingale eyeshadow palette from the brand, brand, brand Pretty Vulgar. I've seen this like, I heard this company stuff reviewed before and I always think that their packaging is really, really pretty. It's very, like, it looks kind of timeless, but it's really, really pretty and they're I think all of theirs look like this like in a birdcage I think they all look like this and this is so innovative and it's so pretty I cannot wait to dive into this palette and I will probably do a review on this or at least do like um like an Instagram video using this or something like that I can't wait and this really really works well for fall too just because of the colors that are in here I can't wait. I'm so excited to give this a shot and see. Um, it says, embrace your beautiful contradictions. I love it. You guys, that is it. We've come to the end and I feel like I have like talked about everything. This may be a long video and if it is, I do apologize. Please again, please, 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 please know that uh, this stuff that I have unboxed here is again not in any way trying to like belittle anybody or bully anybody that uh, unfortunately was not able to get the box or anything like that. I I just really wanted to show everything that was inside and if there was anything that you guys thought that you liked or maybe wanted to buy like separately or something like that and if you didn't want the boxy charm if there was something in general that you saw that you liked individually that might help i just i'm really passionate about this makeup and i think the boxy charm in general is a great wonderful service i honestly think uh, it's probably the best beauty subscription box on the market right now i think ipsy is really good as well but this one is just amazing in my opinion but guys that is it this is all that we have um we are going to total up everything unless they have done it for us here i don't think they have so i'm going to go ahead and total everything up if i can find my cellular device this does come to a total of 339 dollars and 99 cents if you can see that right there so this guys is wild i personally i love it i think it's great um hopefully i swear hopefully to like december's box is like easier to obtain i don't know but guys i am gonna go ahead and end the video here i am very very pleased with all of this i really hope that you enjoyed it and i really really hope that you did end up liking the video and just seeing the stuff that was in the box but if you did like it then go ahead and click up that like button for me and then subscribe if you want to if you want to see other videos that i post and when i post them click the little bell down at the bottom there again my name is kenzie i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you tomorrow Bye bye